Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are back with another unboxing video and I contemplated on getting this, but we got the HomePod Mini. This was released a couple of months ago. Now I really wanted it and it would go perfect with my setup. So I decided to get it, got my knife and now we're just gonna cut along the edge. Why is my hand shaking so much? Come on, cut. There we go. I've actually never seen the HomePod in real life. Let's open it. Come on. Oh, <laughs> it is smaller than I expected. This is what it looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. The color is beautiful. It's just black. Before we get to... It has a smell. <laughs> Before we get into that, let's see what else comes in the box. So we have this pamphlet, which comes with the instructions, warranty guide, and it does come with one Apple sticker. I'm so glad it does. I was thinking of getting like bigger HomePod, but that did not fit with my set. That was just too big. So I decided to go with this. And it comes with a charging brick. <laughs> this is a 20 watt power brick and it does come with it. So the one thing I do not like is that this is white and this is black and it doesn't really like fit with it. I mean, it still works, but you're not ever going to see it. So like, it doesn't really matter. Let's take it off of this spray of this cable plastic thingy. Get off. Come on. Okay, I love this cable because it's like a braided type cable. It's not like the traditional Apple plastic cable and it is a USB-C plug. So yeah, it's a USB-C plug and it is black. Plug it in like that. I just got like an extension cord thing just to connect it. Setting up the new HomePod on the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. Oh wait, there's a sticker. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The sticker removal. And under it, hopefully you guys can see, is a very small Apple logo. This is actually really cute. Oh, okay, the light turned on, the light turned on, the light turned on. Turn on. Okay. Oh. And now it's saying HomePod mini setup. Let's click setup. This is a, if you hear any background noise, I'm sorry. Ah, no, uh, bedroom HomePod. Uh, HomePod can recognize your voice, other stuff. Recognize my voice, use it for personal requests. Continue. I definitely agree. You can do everything you want. Transfer my settings. And now it's going to ask me to put the HomePod onto it. Oh, that's such a nice tone. It's ready. Hi, I'm Siri. Welcome to HomePod. You can't tell, but I'm waving. To get my attention, say, let's get started. Say, what can you do? What can you do? I can do lots of things, like turn on the lights, give you a news update, and tell you about the weather. Now you try. Say, play some music. Play some music? Now playing Apple Music One. Those petrol station, too wide. Only a rock scene, year nine. Don't need to rob me, big flick. That's gotta be on me. Before black... Stop playing. Okay, so if you can see on top of here, there are like some plus and minus buttons. Play some music. Apple Music One now playing. Okay, so you can hear, you can like lower the voice by clicking the buttons because this is touch sensitive and you can also put it up. If you are playing music, you can just tap it to pause and then you can double tap to skip a track, triple tap to go back a track and press or tap and hold to activate series. So what's the weather today? It's currently clear and minus four degrees. Expect mostly cloudy skies starting in the afternoon. You can also, since this is thread enabled, you can use one of these nano leaf essential light bulbs uh, to you know connect <laughs> you can ask Siri to turn on and turn off your light so I really hope you guys can see turn on okay. could you try again <laughs> turn on Shajil's bedroom on it. yeah so a little light showed up and it turned on my bedroom light turn Shajil's bedroom blue the Shurgil's bedroom failed to respond god damn it just in case you wanted to see I'm gonna ask Siri on the home pod to turn on my bedroom light turn on Shajil's bedroom there we go, she turned it on, and now I'm gonna ask her to turn it off. Turn off Shajil's bedroom. There we go. But yeah, you get the you get you get it. Uh, you can like change the light bulb color, you can ask it to turn on and off your lights, lock your doors. Uh, this can also this is a feature which I'm probably not gonna use, but it is a really cool feature that you can have. It is intercom. So if you have multiple home pods, you can ask one to intercom and it will intercom everyone. It'll show up on your phone, your Apple Watch, AirPod. To be honest, I kinda expected it to be a little bit bigger, but this is actually a really nice size, so it'll like fit in my setup that I have over there. 
so it is actually really cute and it is probably gonna pick up so much smudges because of this the braided cable is also nice and let's say you are playing music on your phone i'm gonna like search up an ncs song real quick i'm gonna be playing like some sort of ncs music on my phone will it like connect yeah so now it transferred onto my home pod just by t moving it to the other phone and if you want to transfer it back and it transfers back to the phone and then transfer it back it's transferred to the home pod that is such a cool uh siri will do the exact same thing as i did with the music uh moving it to the home pod and it will transfer i'll also do that with phone calls um so if you're having a phone call in the car and the home pod notices that your phone is near it it will automatically transfer your phone call to the home pod uh if you don't have apple music it can also work with um like spotify and stuff but you'll have to say um you can't ask siri to i'm not sure if this still works i haven't tried it yet but i'm not sure you can ask siri to play you music from other things that aren't uh apple music like soundcloud or spotify i really hope to see that in like the future uh of homepod updates but if you do want to play music from ho uh soundcloud or spotify uh and you're not near your homepod i think you'd have to go into you scroll down to the control center press and hold on the music icon type thing at the top left right hand corner and then you have to click the airplay button to get it to play from phone to the home pod that is only if you're like like not near it but if you are you just tap your phone and it'll easily do it this is basically what i can do this is basically just the unboxing i will show you how it's gonna look when i put it up into the setup thing so cute oh i forgot to mention you can do a stereo pair if you have two of these you can do it like a stereo surround sound type thing if you have two of these it can also work with like the regular home pod so uh you don't have to get a mini but this just fits in much better i'm also gonna put uh, music and i'm gonna put it to full blast so let's see how loud these speakers are Raise volume to 100%. That's very loud. Are you sure? Yes. Turn the volume to 20%. Holy sh**. That is so loud. Stop playing. The cool part is it was able to hear me over its loudness. I horribly filmed the setup of what I uh, have. But yeah, now I'm going to actually show you a sort of newer version of the setup that I have. This is currently the setup that I have at the moment. As you can see, I moved the monitor from here to there, moved the MacBook from there to here. And the HomePod sits at the bottom because, I don't know, I didn't want to have it there. So my iPad right there. And yeah, this is what it's like. I also got a new keyboard because I did not like the other keyboard. Board. This one is slimmer. It's sort of like the uh, Apple one, but it can actually fit with three devices. So currently I have it connected to the iPad and my MacBook. So yeah, that's where the little HomePod sets. And again, cable management is still absolutely garbage. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all next time. Bye.